All right. I am going to be doing a quick little video of how I glaze my pieces. Now, I've got this tripod up. I'm not good at this stuff, so bear with me if I'm not in frame. The, the angle is really, really crazy. So until I can figure out how to set something up like over me, I'm going to have to just work with what I got. So, okay, I've got my resin, and I've got this cheap, um, we called it PM brushes in the military to clean equipment, radio equipment. But anyway, they're, they're disposable. You can get them. I know Harbor Freight has them, but you can definitely buy them online for cheaper, and you get a lot more. So um, if I can find the link that I got these, I'll put them in, in, in the downstairs. And then I have a little bit of resin that's just barely started. To thicken up it's um I don't know if you can see this the consistency of it it's it's starting to get a little thick preferably I would let it get even thicker than this but not so thick that it's stringy it like it still flows if that makes sense okay that's just how I prefer to do mine I'm not gonna do a lot because like I said this is really screwed up angle not to mention, I'm going to be trying to hold it upright as I dome it, which will not work. But just so you get the idea of it. Okay, so now I've got this piece. The front is all pretty and shiny. Oh, those lights suck too. I'm sorry, y'all. But anyway, you can kind of see it's shiny. The back is really rough. It's been sanded. So what I'm going to do... I can make room on my table with all this stuff I've got piled up everywhere. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush, pull it out of the resin, and just start brushing around. Do you see how easy that is? Don't over, don't overdo it because it'll, you know, go off the edges. And you just brush it on there, just like if you were painting. And then I'll turn it around and get the bottom part. And if you need to use more, um, get more resin, you can. I happen to have enough on this to do this whole back piece. Okay, so it looks like I've got everything. Make sure I've got those little points well. You can also like run your brush along the edge and it'll loose it'll let all that extra resin come off the brush and um, fill in you know if you've got an edge a lip so there's that piece I cannot turn it around or it all come off but you kind of get the idea okay now let me see a piece that is curvy and I'll do a cameo so we got this piece it's got a good scratch on it right there if you can see the scratch, I don't know. I really need to get a good setup because this is like not good on my back. Okay. Anyway, there's a big, big scratch right there. Um, and it'll be filled in as soon as I do it. But I'm going to do this octopus piece. It's rounded and then it's got all these tentacles. So it's a very, you know, not flat piece. That's, yeah, that's a word, not flat. Okay. And I take my brush again, and I always start in the center. That's just my preference. And I just go, I really, really hope I'm getting this in frame. And I just go around until I get it covered well. And then I will start at the top and start working. Now I'm going to need a little bit more resin. So I dip it back in and then start off where I left off. I mean, there's, I mean, this is really easy. And, you know, if you mess up, sand it down and start again. It's not a big deal. I've done that numerous times. Sorry about that, you Okay, so that piece looks pretty good. Now, what I do after, wait a minute, I see streaks on that. So, go over that cameo one more time. 
There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is lay this flat and hit it with the torch when you're done to pop any bubbles. Very, just, you know, don't hold the torch on. Just go over it quick and pop any bubbles you might have. Uh, let's do one more. Let's see, which one are we going to do? Which one are we going to do? Let's do this retarded looking um, skull that I did. It, he's pathetic looking, I know. He's special. So again, I'm just going to start brushing over. Now this is deep eye sockets, so I'm going to put a lot of resin on my brush and just slather it on in the eye sockets. Same thing with the nose and the mouth, so you can fill those up. And then just brush it around. And you wear gloves is a good thing. Um, I do not wear gloves. I never do. That's my personal preference. So I just, I, I don't get a lot of resin on me anymore, even when doing this, because I just have it down pat pretty good. So there you go. That piece is done. Did you even see me do it? I don't know. Okay. So because I don't know if I'm getting these in frame or not, let's just, for the hell of it, do one more. Now, this one I will do. Mm. Here's a piece. This right here. So this is pretty much flat, but it has the, the domed cameo center. See? And then it has some rhinestones and a starfish. Wow. Yeah, I got to get it set up. Anybody that does this stuff and has a pretty good way to do this, let me know. Because I can't do this on an angle like this. It, it is really killing my back. All right, so start off again. That's just how I do it, the center. And then I go around and hit the shell all the way around. I cover up the rhinestones and the... See, um, starfishes because I want that to be sealed as well and then she's good to go I will have to oh I got something piece of glitter on my brush piece of that cellophane glitter I like to go around the edges of these because even though it's pretty much flat it does dip a little in the center and the resin has a tendency to pull away from the edges. So I go around and I just scrape the paintbrush on the edges. Resin will level itself out so you don't have to worry about there being a clump right there. It just kind of keeps it from pulling away from the edge. These little clamshells do that. I don't, it's like I said, because it's at a slight little angle. So that one is now done I'll set her back over here and that is it I'm gonna hit him with the heat gun with my little um my little torch thing that I have and um that's it that's that's how I do mine I'm pretty sure y'all know how to just pour it on a flat piece and work it out to the edges with a toothpick or um, whatever it is you happen to use I just use my little stir stick okay I'm going to get off because this isn't looking at nothing, and I need to use this resin before it starts setting up. All right, hope that helps. If you have any questions or want to see something else, let me know. Um, I'll do anything I can do to help. All right, bye.